we're gonna decorate the cave walls. So what I start with is the local gravel. And this is, this paste that I put on is a mix of two white cement, uh, Portland white with um, two gravels. So it's a very rich mix with fiberglass strands, polypropylene. And what we're gonna do is in the cave, we have this white, these white veins. So I'm gonna put those on. Okay, then the last thing I'm gonna put is pure white cement. Because what we wanna do is lighten up the cave as much as we can. Instead of just having dark walls, we wanna have light walls. I'm gonna do a little bit further. This is sort of the consistency of the paste we put on. This is loaded with polypropylene fibers, just so it never splits on us. I do bigger surfaces just for this to show you. I'm going to do smaller areas. And if you mix up how you throw it, like gravel first, cement first, you're going to get different colors. So it's important how you do that. with uh, white cement and then I do my stamping and it's very thin so there's not a lot to stamp but what I like about this is it actually pushes the color into the wall a lot more so you get a better result this stuff sticks better and use bigger skins don't use small skins because the small skins leave edges I will not leave any edges whatsoever because it's so big. And it's sort of like pushing in the material without, um, without getting it to come off the wall or using a trowel. This is much better. Okay, so that area is done. perfect. I got an electrical outlet here so I make sure that's nice and tight. So here I'm going to start with white Portland just to be a little bit different. And if you notice the white Portland is completely dry so it's sucking up the extra moisture. The mix on the wall is not super dry but it is sticky and wet. So it doesn't strong. This area here I'm going to go with sand first. This area here. I'm going to join up where the last bit is a bit drier already. Go back to it. Just rock dashing this here. Okay, so now I'm going to use this white brush rock. It comes directly out of the cave itself. Again, I'm going to put the uh, white cement on here instead of release agent. Okay, now here's where my old joint was, so I'm going to go again. 
Again, I like having these big mats because they don't shrink the edges so much. Sometimes you want edges, but in this case, it's just going to be a single surface. And what I like about this is you can make these seams join up really nice. Even if you came back the next day, you can still make it look like it's real and join up the seams.